at some point i felt like you know fine you know um, I, like i love so much i mean i love dance so much why don't i make a career out of it and mm-hmm. uh, something which i love right uh, that's right. what it made a difference right i love right. what i'm doing and uh, i know i can spread something positive and i can probably make some positive impact on somebody's uh, you know life uh, right. that is what i took it seriously I'm Satvika and you are watching Your Catalyst Fit Satwa. Today I'm super duper excited as it's our finale episode and more than that I'm even more excited because our today's guest is someone who inspires me on daily basis. He is fun loving, multi talented, very welcoming, dance enthusiast, fitness trainer, most importantly the people's person. and the list goes on if you know cult you know him welcome tom hey hi satvika how are you good good how are you i am doing great thank you so much for inviting me for this uh, you know finale episode i'm feeling so overwhelmed and uh, yeah so great to be here amazing in fact i should thank you for accepting my invitation i feel honored and privileged to have you on the show today Yeah, definitely you're doing something great ananda i'm really happy to be part of this thank you so much tom so tom there's a thin line between hobby and passion when mm-hmm. did you realize that uh, you know dance is your passion um so like um, when it all started like basically i was not a dancer at all right so until my college time i hardly danced like in school sometimes maybe like uh, for my first ever dance i can recollect is made in india song if you remember ah yes yeah so in wednesdays we used to do all this exercise activities and all and that was the dance which i know right okay. then uh, after joining college like seniors forced me to dance they ragged and they were like you know okay fine you have to go and perform on the stage and i practiced okay. and i did it like uh, uh-huh. uh, so that is where everything uh, started so it was like a hobby for me like you know it was okay. not happening often right i didn't take it too seriously at all uh-huh. and um, the first uh, um, impact happened during uh, my uh, college uh, interdepartmental competition where i took part and we won first prize too right from, awesome. from there only the love for dance built it up for me okay and uh, till then it was like a hobby for me right you know because hobby is something not you do it often or like you know wanted to do it and take it as a career right so something i was doing it quite uh, um, rarely i could call like probably 3 months once or something like that but at some point of time i started like you know falling in love with this then um, okay. as you know i had an it career yes. over uh, 10 plus years too yeah so um i like at some point i felt like you know fine you know um, I, like i love so much i mean i love dance so much why don't i make a career out of it and mm-hmm. uh, something which i love right uh, that's right. what it made a difference right i love right. what i'm doing and um, i know i can spread something positive and i can probably make some positive impact on somebody's uh, you know life uh, right. that is what i took it seriously so that is a, exactly like i mentioned there's a thin line when uh, hobby is something which you like to do it right. but uh, passion is something which you will love and uh, you know do it further to you know makes an impact so that's why i say that exactly amazing tom very inspiring journey i have to say thank you so tom what's fitness for you fitness fitness is for me um fitness is being happy like you know making somebody else happy for me and um, also like um, you know um, um creating a positive uh, thing for your body itself right but just not your physical well being it's all about your mental well being oh i mean so that's why i mentioned like you know for me being happy matters a lot and that is fitness to me for me loving myself matters to me that is fitness for me right once i start loving myself once i take care of myself uh, so that you know i'm physically strong and mentally strong that is fitness for me like uh, fitness is not like uh, putting on muscles uh, you know lifting weights that is not fitness to me fitness is everything it has to be a lifestyle but uh, what each and every one of us had we were born with it we just didn't uh, take it forward to we you know to take it to a longer duration that's the thing yeah so fitness is life very well said oh my god fitness is life the new definition for fitness very well said yeah that's a we have to see it right you know even right. if you see um, when you're in a, when you're a child um, a lot of people actually now struggle to sit with their complete feet down yes right but 
when you were a kid when you were just born you know your mobility was really good but where did we lost it's all because of our ba- bad lifestyle and a lot of things right so eventually we lost a lot of things so if we realize fitness is life then we will take it forward yeah that's my simple uh, idea about that amazing amazing dog so what workouts do you do apart from dance like uh, snc yoga are you interested in any of these formats yes of course of course i do it uh, initially okay. yoga was a bit boring for me because i'm so much of a fun and outgoing person but uh, uh, once you realize the benefit of uh, each and every workout um, you will okay. definitely go for it and uh, it's much more enjoyable also um, and it uh, like i told you know mental well being also is a part of right. your fitness and right. uh, yoga will definitely help you in the process right uh, okay. nobody can assure anything right you go do a strength training nobody can say that you know you're going to be fit but yes with a progressive um, approach with um, um, you know positive take on each and every day and uh, right. you make it as a habit for yourself that is going to give you the results right but um, right. for me um, initially i was only focusing on dance 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 and i have one uh, thing to share with you like uh, yeah. i never realized that you know how much strength training is important in my life uh-huh. so um, um after i started taking dance fitness as a career it's been like 6 month i was like super happy meeting a lot of people i was in like uh, um i was like you know probably yeah, wow i made the right decision in my life but one bad decision which i took was not uh, uh-huh. taking strength training not focusing okay. on any other workouts so okay. i got a um, sa joint issue like my sa joint uh-huh. slightly moved a slight moment impacted uh-huh. me for more than one and a half months i had to rest i had to uh, um, you know do a lot of physiotherapy and um, i need to work myself to come back right so there is where i really like how much strength training is important so from that time yes uh, even though i won't say that you know i do five days in a week no three times okay. in a week also i just do, do it whenever i get time i'll definitely do that and okay. yoga once in a while i do that yeah nice nice that's amazing yeah it very well said because uh, though you are in dance the strength requires a lot of thing because you need that uh, endurance when you're dancing right yeah definitely Yeah, and another more important thing is like dance fitness is a cardio based workout, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. it's more on the cardio side, so we have to right. definitely work on the other side as well. That's why, yeah. Right, right, yeah. So Tom, we actually got to know that you used to play cricket and also have organized a lot of matches in your apartments and clubs. <laughs> Oh my so, gosh! How did you get to know this? <laughs> you have a I spy, have right? Yeah, I have yeah, my sources. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes, um, like I told you, I made a switch between my, I mean, from my IT to fitness, right? So when I was doing the transition, basically, I'll tell you how this thing happened too. Um, so um, I love to organize tournaments. I like, uh, I basically love to organize events, you know, conduct it, and uh, even like a uh, single-handedly, I've done a lot of events too. Okay. So um, I was building a sports and event management company, so which I can do. it further and take it forward uh, okay. and uh, i did dance fitness as a as an option okay uh, although like you know see i told you like i i i decided when i can take it uh, in full time i have another uh-huh. uh, reason for that but um, okay. definitely like um, you know i took it as an option to do it but you know the love for it made me to you know go forward with that so uh, that's how i used to you know play cricket and i have uh, represented my college uh, my uh, district and then uh, cricket was also almost like dance and cricket was always there in my life yeah awesome so are you following ipl yeah. this season of course csk <laughs> i yeah. wish i had an yellow jersey to wear it today yeah <laughs> okay that's yeah. nice <laughs> good good i know all the rcb fans was going to be seeing you you are really in danger why not yeah rcb is definitely my second home and yeah. if not csk it's also rcb okay that's amazing yeah, yeah. Fitness is not an option. It's a lifestyle. So let's rock, inspire and make an impact together. Do not forget to like, comment and subscribe and do not forget to click the notification icon to all right.